War. Not exactly a new concept. At first, it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isserian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. So, at figures, they resisted. Despite besieging their villages, and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just gonna sit there and take it. Protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the Elves and the Dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isserian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, and so grinding slavery was always gonna be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were gonna be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You got my sympathy if that's your case. See anything on patrol, Butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The Resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. Larkin wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood.
There you are. So, how do you feel? Nervous, impatient. I'd really like to know why we were brought here. Something big. It's just the worst of us in this one. Even the Chief's gonna get his hands dirty. Jarhill? Really? We gonna kill the Emperor or what? Ha! Why not? That wouldn't hurt us a bit. <laughs> Him or another Quars doesn't change much. We still have human allies, Arkai. It's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! <laughs> Come back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsad, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand, or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. Come on, defend yourself. It'll do you good. Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. You gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again. And I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with a technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going on the defensive while I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better. And that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time, you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. But what I really need is some way to blow off steam on a fucking combat lesson. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? Mother Earth. You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage.
Thank you. You're the butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. It can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. Today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life, and perhaps in the history of our people. This war has gone on too long, and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. For a while now, We've been preparing our counterattack with their support, but events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast, now! It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples. My brothers, we must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor! It will be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? It's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me! The rest of you wait outside. Right. Archive. You go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east entrance. His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the lower floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the Resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkents will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor at all costs. Questions? So, basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire, where hopefully the Resistance will contact me, then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off with her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor? Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell. And you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready. Butcher of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name. Archai. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. 
No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. The blood jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? I was gonna be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? I'm the guy. Okay. Glad it was easy hooking up. On the other hand, it's gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought. The Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. What do you have in mind? Well, I figured we'd knock on the main door and say hi there. My friend and I are here to kill the Emperor. Can you let us in, please? You keep that up, Rakash, and you'll regret it. Okay, okay. Right now, I think we should go to my place in the shanty town. It's not far. It's an old tower I'm sharing with some... allies. They'll help us get past the wall. Well, under it, seeing as above it isn't possible. I don't really have a choice, do I? After you. 